Medical researchers trying to solve the puzzle of disease are always, rightly, reluctant to use the C word until they're completely sure they've discovered a cure. But for sufferers of multiple sclerosis, a condition which has baffled doctors for generations, there's been some very welcome news. A breakthrough treatment using stem cells is having truly remarkable results. MS patients who could barely cope with the debilitating illness are regaining their mobility and, in some cases, even their sight. But here's the bad news. It's almost impossible to get the treatment here. And as Tara Brown reports, that's forced hundreds of frustrated Australians overseas in search of help. Hi. I don't know who to hug Each and every person in this room is a trailblazer. Oh, hey, honey. How are you? Oh, don't make me start crying now. <laughs> no tears today. They all have the degenerative and debilitating multiple sclerosis. But you can't tell because they've all travelled far in risk and distance for the same remarkable treatment. Their inspiration comes from this woman, 39-year-old Christy Cruz. My MS has completely stopped since I had my, um, my treatment. Um, I've had no MS progression, no new lesions, no new symptoms. We for like three hours or something in high heels. I've had most of my symptoms um, completely dissipate. So I'm back to feeling like I felt when I was 20, living life and basically wonderful, yeah. But when I first met Christy in 2014, she was clearly suffering. <laughs> Come on, honey, mummy's not feeling good now. The once fit and healthy emergency department nurse had no feeling down her left side Come on, love. and was overcome with exhaustion. She shouldn't have done that. There are days when I will get up and get my kids to school and come back to bed and fall asleep immediately and be in the deep coma-like sleep. Multiple sclerosis attacks the central nervous system. There is no cure. For many, it will lead to life in a wheelchair, and for some, it will be terminal. To halt the rapid progression of the disease, Christy made the decision to travel to Russia for groundbreaking stem cell treatment not yet allowed in Australia. No, I really do need the chair. No, I really do. In Australia, I was told, you need to spend the next two years or three years trialling drugs and hope in that time you don't get sick enough to get in a wheelchair. Because if you do, you're out of luck. It was like playing Russian roulette. Do you feel that by going to Russia, you're playing Russian roulette? No. I have made a very careful decision. I don't think it's Russian roulette at all. The treatment is called HSCT. Christie's own stem cells are removed, treated and then frozen. She then endures four gruelling days of intensive chemotherapy to kill off her damaged immune system. To rebuild it, her treated stem cells are returned to grow new blood and bone marrow cells, which are MS-free. I'm starting to feel a bit short of breath. A bit difficult to breathe, yeah? Yeah. Take a deep breath in. You have normal blood pressure. You are OK. I know. Not pain, just heavy, heavy illness. It's normal, it's normal. Take a deep breathing. It's normal. Christy, it will relieve in two minutes. Oh. You can do it, you can do it. It's a wild ride. <laughs> this was Christy just six months after receiving HSCT. She's experienced an unbelievable transformation. And now, three years on, she's dedicated to helping other Australian MS sufferers learn more about this treatment. Yeah, liking their short hairstyles. Policeman Ian Callahan saw Christie's progress and was desperate to mirror it. He was diagnosed with MS at the age of 31. Within two years, he had trouble seeing, had to give up work, and was almost totally couch bound. I went from working full time, um, active, going to the gym, doing stuff like that, to actually at the two year mark, I was not able to work at all. Are you okay, going to take out your sister? 
With a young son and his wife pregnant with twins, Ian was determined to do anything possible to get better. So he travelled to Singapore for HSCT and in the 12 months since, he's experienced some incredible results. Where are we going? It's given me the chance to live my life. Now I can do stuff, like I'm going to work, um, I can go out doing what things that I like, shooting, camping, hunting. <laughs> and being a father, being an active father, rather than just being alive but not actually being able to do anything. Yeah, sure. yeah. and then we can, we can work out. The treatment doesn't work for everyone with MS, but hundreds of Australians have now travelled overseas for HSCT, and for the majority, the outcome's been extraordinary. The frustration for so many is that the treatment is available to so few in Australia because it's deemed experimental and there are only limited trials currently underway here. HSCT has been performed for over four decades for cancer patients, so it's not a new treatment. We're not talking about the back streets of China and injectable stem cells. We're talking about hospitals with haematology wards in Germany and America and Canada and the UK and Russia and Singapore. And the results in overseas private clinics and hospital trials have been mind-blowing. Patients who were paralysed have been able to walk again. One blinded by the disease can now see. If the treatment was available in Australia, it would just take such a load off people's shoulders. And to be able to do that in your own state or your own community and see your family, it just takes a lot of the stress and the burden off you. And it really shouldn't be something we have to fight for. This should be available in our own country.